G'day guys, my name is Zinkberg and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play series. This is episode 31. Uh, I have gathered you all here today. Look at the, look at me walk towards the camera. As long as I'm walking in a straight line, everything's okay. <laughs> Alright, I have gathered you here. Oh, um, we still have our fountain pig. Fountain pig doesn't have a name. How about this? Leave a comment in, in this video. Uh, down below and I will randomly pick a comment maker and your name shall be the name of the pig for now and all eternity there you go you can be famous look at how famous you could be <laughs> you can have a pig and a fountain named after you I have I'm going to keep this episode real short I promise you this is going to be a real quick one I've, I've done a lot but I'm going to Keep it nice and to the point. I have the main thing I want to show you. I have built a bridge over there. While I'm heading down there, you guys can have a look at the time lapse of me building it. I'll see you there. Okay, so uh, we should fill that in. So yeah, going in from this side, you just come in through here. It, it takes a steep incline. I've done some sort of bracing up on the top here. That bracing more than anything was just to fix a lighting issue that I was having. It's sort of a bit dark in here, but everything's spawn proof uh, for the most part. Yeah, it was kind of a bit, bit big to have um to not have any lighting in the middle and i couldn't come up with an easy way to put lighting underneath and things so yeah so you would come down here and um, get attacked by both of these guys because i still forgot to make them run out of arrows let's let's run the gauntlet let's do it real quick go 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 luckily it takes them time to uh hey i think they missed me it's all good yeah, it takes them time to, to do the thing. The rest of what I've done this week, uh, I did... Let's have a look over here. I did my little fishing hut. So here's his wharf with a couple of fishing rods there and some barrels around and things like that. Uh, just a real basic 
um, little building here. It, there's nothing overly fancy about this one here. Yeah, I just wanted something simple that was sort of out past the past the walls of the the castle to to be a little fishing hut. I figure that in this part here at the front here, this is where he sells his fish. Or her fish it might be a female fisher person. Who knows? And inside, as you can see, I've done a beautiful interior uh, with a bed. <laughs> so that's that's that <laughs> done. I I will I'll go and do more of that. I've done a heap of interiors. I've done I've done so many interiors this week. Oh, also I've done this. So I built I built the guard tower for for over this side. I haven't given it away up here yet other than to land on top of it. Again, this is really simple. This just draws from the other one over the other side there. Um, but a little bit sort of blending in with the other with the other builds and things. Uh, see, I wish I hadn't have come this way and had a look at that now because I feel like I have to do something at the top there. I will look at that. That's fine. We're keeping this short. Quick, quick. Okay, so we've done that. We have, as I said, we have done interiors galore. I'm not going to bother showing you those. Most of them are fairly fairly simple, just sort of beds and things. I'll, I'll show you as I go around if, if that's necessary. I'll, I'll show you what's going on with that. One thing I did do, though, last week I was talking about putting villages around. I came across some problems with that and solved some issues with that too. So we have two villages inside here. They let themselves in. I haven't put them in there. <laughs> they really want to. Um, they really want to work here in the <laughs> in with the cows and the and the sheep. So good on them. But around here, you'll find there are villages strewn around. Now, big problem I had was everywhere I go, like I I like to decorate with barrels. I had barrels here. I had barrels over uh, where over here. I had here and over there, and up there, and round the corner. Like, every building had barrels in it. Um, problem is, these guys who I've brought over from the from the village breeding hall, they just came over and they just all stood around these barrels that were over here in the, in the thing because they were assigned jobs to them. Um, so what I've done, it's not inconspicuous at all, is I've just placed, um, I've just placed job tables underneath carpets. Um, around the path and things like that. Um, unfortunately, they like to stand on them while I try and place things down. So I get this feeling of, of sort of, you know, townspeople being around and things like that. So far, it hasn't caused too many issues. Um, the iron golems are a bit of a pain, and I think they've dug up one of the, like they've managed to ruin one of the wheat field things here or something. It's nothing, no big drama. I will just quickly show you just a little bit of this. So, yeah, so I've done things like this where I've created rooms in here and I haven't finished decorating them yet. And I've done sort of adding beds around the place and things like that. So just, yeah, just a little closet here, uh, extra bedroom in here. So I've solved the problem of, of how few people there are in my village, I think. We, we're getting up there now. We, we're sort of able to to call it a proper village. I think that's about it. Uh, I did feel very bad for my good friend Egberg, so I I decided that the diamond block that I had up over there at the bank, I thought that was a little thing we sort of had together. So I went back up and I um, have put that back in his in his lair. Um, actually, I'll show you a quick video of that. It just, just, yeah, one second. Just figure we've got to, we've got to keep trying. <laughs> like, I know he, whatever it is with the way that he's, um, his brain is wired, we've got to just keep trying. So, uh, do you reckon he's re, I don't, I don't think he's done anything more here. Well, I can't believe I fell down there. Um, Alright, let's see if he's around. Eggberg, come on, mate, we've got to talk. Got to talk. Oh, look, it's the uh, 
Was it the chicken for cater three thousand? <laughs> That's the beginning of Eggberg right there. Eggberg, are you home? I mean no harm. Come in peace. Oh, maybe he's not here. Um, what's this? Eggberg? Oh, is it? It's a nest. I shouldn't laugh. That's sweet. That's adorable that he sleeps in a nest. That's lovely. Um, <laughs> okay, well, it doesn't, doesn't look like he's around. Look, I feel... I feel bad. I keep mocking him and things like that. He says after mocking him for sleeping in the nest. I'm going to offer him... A beautiful symbol of peace in a gift. I'll wrap it up nice. What do we do? Well, obviously I know what I'm doing by the amount of wool that I have with me. <laughs> I just randomly do this thing. We'll wrap it up nice with some nice wrapping paper. There. There we go. There's the diamond block that he caught me with in a nice present. I know it doesn't have a bow on it, but it's very hard to do a bow on a small present. <laughs> I haven't thought of a way to do it. All right, well, we'll see how that goes down. Hopefully that'll uh, that'll appease him and, uh, <laughs> and bury the hatchet, so to speak. So hopefully Eggberg will accept that gift as an apology for the way I've been treating him and we can just get on with uh, the series <laughs> back to normal without any more problems. Uh, I think that'll do us, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, wait. Um, no, I did some work in the castle. Hang on. We'll very quickly go up and just have a quick look up there. Yeah, I just did some work in the main hall, particularly up here. I've done some work around the outsides as well. Um, and oh, what? Okay. Apology accepted. Okay. <laughs> well, we know who that's from. And he's just got a bow on it. But, yeah. Okay. Um, I do not want... Uh, do I want to open it? I mean, I don't want to blow this place up. This, this room's really nice. I like this room a lot. I really don't want a hole in it. Um, all right, I've got some shears here. Uh... Maybe we'll just take it slow and uh, maybe there's nothing in here. Maybe it's just empty. Maybe it's Eggberg standing inside. Uh, no. Okay, well, that looks very familiar. So, has he. No, I didn't mean to get rid of that sign. It's a lovely card that he's given me. Um, so, this is like a copy of the egg for cater 3000 thing that's my own version of it it's a shame it's in my main hall here i'm not real happy about that but uh, i'm not going in it that's for sure <laughs> not until i know what's rigged up to and things i um uh, yeah, i'm really not keen to no i have this real thing about pushing buttons though so, yeah. um I've covered. I'm this really. I wonder if there's anything in the back. No, it's just. All right, I'll unwrap that at a later date. Um, that's really distracting, and I really want to push the button. Um, okay. So, um, guys, the usual thing. Thank you so much for joining me this week. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my regular subscribers. You guys mean the world to me. And, and I couldn't do any of this without you. Thank you so much. Have a lovely week, guys. I'll see you next Saturday. And bye.